It's always one of those issues, particularly in our off-grid market. Converting electricity to hot water is a really wasteful exercise in most cases, but Rotex got it nailed. Have a look at this hot water cylinder that is a heat exchanger system that can take energy from any source, from your solar, from your mains. It can even have a heat exchanger working off an aircon unit in an industrial environment. And it turns all that into hot water. Not just hot water for your home, for your bath, but it can heat your pool. It can heat your spa. It can do underfloor heating. And it can do all this from one system. So let's have a talk to the guys from Rotex. This is great. Now John's going to tell us a little bit about this particular Rotex hot water system. Morning gentlemen, morning Roy, nice to meet you mate. Thanks for popping into our stand at the show. To start in terms of what this system is, it's a water heating plant. But a plant that has a lot of diversity in regards to what it can physically deliver. And when I say physically deliver, I'm referring to jump into the pool, that's nice and warm. You know, floor coil heating or radiator panels, gee that's a nice warm you know, house that we live in and a nice hot shower when required. So it's the touch feel relative to energy collection from various forms, whether it's solar PV, natural gas, electricity, waste heat recovery, as in the large Scottish family restaurant users. Fantastic. Ground sourced heat pump, etc. Whichever way that the energy yield is available, the Rotex tank provides a thermal battery in pure water, remaining in the tank unpressurised. The stainless steel coil arrangement connecting from the cold water mains and the hot water out downstream to fixtures, typically maybe on a reticulated loop in a larger residential house that might have four bathrooms or more. If mechanical heating, as in floor coil or radiator panels, were to be integrated into the same system, a second inner coil arrangement would be provided. Fantastic. If the pool and spa was required, as we're doing a lot of jobs at the moment in Melbourne and Sydney, luxury high-end residential where the footprint's limited, where there is an opportunity for PV injection on the roof, two kilowatt, four kilowatt, depending upon your space, providing the, the three options of domestic hot water, mechanical heating, pool and spa. The architect's in love with it. All of a sudden the footprint now is one third. All of a sudden the installation cost now is one third. All of a sudden now your operating costs, purely by being able to provide off-grid energy contribution, mm. one third. Perfect. John, something's a carry to me. We've got a, a burgeoning market in the dairy sector. Uh -huh. So yes. dairy farms. Yep. Now, what temperature typically would, they, uh, would the guys look for there? Right? Okay. The, the system can supply and support 85 degrees. Fantastic. We're looking even at additional equipment that we're going to introduce into our range in the short term that the um, abattoir industry can, can use and to go as high as 95. But 85 degrees at the moment, Roy, is the temperature that we can deliver from the system. Fantastic. So where my mind's going with this, so we put a decent solar system on a dairy exactly shed. Exactly right, yep. He's got, he, because they have to chill their milk down so fast, yes. now he's invested yep. Yep. in massive refrigeration plant. That's it. We can do heat exchanging Very much so. from his refrigeration. Correct. We can do drive from the solar. Yes, yep. What a solution. The other component, gentlemen, that then lends itself to that sort of application. Yeah. So we're looking at an industrial site that high temperature and volumes required, generating from the majority, or if not all, from PV, yep, is the use of our Actor control module. Okay. That basically directs the energy traffic, if you like, from the system, either into the tank, as the thermostat's calling for heat, recovering the system after a large dump of, of heated water in a day or a situation of low yield, low energy yield, yep. wet cold wintry day, automatically switches over to mains. Perfect. So we're talking three phase, yep. but in an industrial facility like that, they would have three phase power on site Correct. for other Correct. plant equipment. Yep. On a day whereby we've got great yield, systems up to temperature, and recovered. We've used all the hot water we need for that period of time, morning, afternoon, whatever the case may be, but we've got excess. Don't put it in your grid, put it back into the industrial facility, lighting, air conditioning, other plant and equipment, etc. The control module has the ability 
to direct the flow of the yield relative to what the thermostat needs. Once that's, once that's hit its mark, 85 degrees, hey, where else can we go? What else can we direct that to? So it sends your solar back to your other loads. So you've got a solar load controller, yep. you've got a thermal heating system, yes. you've got multiple energy source capabilities. Yes. What an ideal solution. Absolutely. Thank you. It's, it's brilliant. Good on you, Roy. Brilliant. Very nice to meet you. Yep. We look forward to doing some business with our agent yep. in New Zealand who, yep. yeah, probably needs to have a, a, a chat with you pretty quick. I'll leave yep. you with that to take away a little bit of light reading on the plane. Thank you.